everyone, Marathon Gal here. Today I'm going to review some of the pieces that I purchased from the 2023 Boston Marathon Collection. We are just about one week out from the race and I'm really excited to show you the pieces I bought this year um, and tell you a little bit about them and how they compare to the pieces I bought last year. As you may remember from my previous videos, last year I did purchase every piece I could get my hands on from the 2022 collection and this year I tried to be a little more discerning and only purchase key pieces that I knew I would wear and that I knew I would like. So uh, we'll get started with the beautiful celebration jacket. Um, so this year, the, Boston's Marathon, the Boston Marathon theme is One Boston to commemorate 10 years since the tragic Boston Marathon bombings in 2013. The Adidas Collection's theme um, focuses on sustainability. It's the most sustainable made from recycled materials collection that they've had, and it focused on muted kind of earth tones. So you can see that in the celebration jacket. Uh, most of the colors of the collection are this silver violet color, as well as on the back, the sand strata color. And then there is this um, very bright yellow color. So a bit in keeping with the traditional blue, blue and yellow of the BAA, but with more of a muted earth tone. So the celebration jacket is different than it has been in previous years or different from the last three years. It's still a windbreaker material, but um, different sleeves, a bit of a looser fit. This is a size small. Um, so I actually really like it. It has the really nice zippered pocket detail. It is packable into this little pouch here. And overall, I like the fit and I like that it's a bit different um, and maybe a bit more lightweight than the past jacket because it doesn't have that liner in here. So I haven't run in it yet, but I will after the race. Um, and I also like that it has a bit of reflective uh, kind of detailing in it as well. So this is the celebration jacket. And then I'm wearing uh, one pair of the tights that I purchased, which is the Boston Marathon long warm tight. And so you can see it perfectly matches the celebration jacket, which I love. Um, so these tights have a light fleece lining. I wouldn't say they're super warm, but they definitely cut the wind. So this is also a size small, um, little uh, waist strap here. I run in them and I really do like them. There is a pocket here, which I like. Um, no side pocket, um, but overall a really nice tight. I like the fit, it's very comfortable. Again, I love that it matches the celebration jacket, um, the stripes. Uh, down along the bottom and I was surprised that they had a warm tight they didn't last year. This is one of my favorite pieces that I purchased. This is the Made With Nature Full Zip Running Hoodie. Um, I love that it's the Sand Strata and um, Silver Violet color and it is super high quality, very plush, oversized. So this is um, a size small but you can see it's very loose, oversized fit. Full zip, um, which I really liked. I had been in the market for a full zip kind of casual hoodie to wear around the house. And again, it's just very high quality, warm, soft, um, very plush on the inside. Um, I really liked it a lot, especially compared to last year's cozy hoodie. I found this to be a lot more high quality and it's, it's pretty much exactly what I need and what I was looking for. Um, really nice hood that stays up and is loose and oversized and the zipper is very high quality um, so just a really nice cozy hoodie i'm definitely going to bring it with me on race weekend another sand strata piece this is the made to be remade tank um i saw this in one of the collection previews but it took a little while for it to be posted online um, it is i've gone running in it once it was very comfortable a bit of a boxy fit this is a size small Overall, I think the collection, some folks commented online that the sizing was a little bit off. The jacket, as you saw, is a bit oversized. Um, this also could be meant to be more worn oversized, so maybe I should have sized up to a medium to make it more loose and baggy. Um, in a size small, you can see it's a bit boxy, um, but was very comfortable to run in. Um, a thick, sort of recycled material feel to it, um, but very comfortable on the run. It does have these loose, um, Kind of armpit holes but that did make it nice and breathable um plain and that again nice muted sand strata color um with the boston 2023 logo here um and i liked it very comfortable and nice on the run introducing another color to the palette of the 2023 collection 
This is the Legend in color, and you can see that on both the pieces I'm wearing. So this is the Made to be Remade long sleeve. So same kind of recycled material as the Sandstrata Made to be Remade tank I just showed you, um, but this is a long sleeve. I had been waiting to see what long sleeve would be part of the collection because my prediction is that this is the same style, although different color of the long sleeve that might be in our um, participant packet. So we will see if I'm correct. But anyway, this is um, the Made to be Remade long sleeve, the only long sleeve that I've seen so far as part of the collection. It is pretty plain and basic. I haven't run in it yet, um, but I do. I like the fit. This is a size small. Um, again, that kind of rougher recycled material, not as buttery soft as last year's long sleeve, but I do like it. And I think because of the thick fabric, it will um, be kind of warm um, as it gets warmer. Um, so you can see it is pretty plain. Um, I have seen a couple things in the Legend ink color, um, but instead of the yellow accent, they, these pieces have um, a white accent. Um, I do like the color, a nice deep uh, blue. These are the seven, eight length tights. So these were one of the first pieces that I saw online after the qualifier pieces. And I was really excited because I do um, really like these tights. Um, so the same legend in color with the white accents, but a little preview was the same um, silver violet color in this pull string. And so this came out before the jacket came out. And so I was wondering based on this, if the jacket would be in this legend ink color, but um, it turned out to be in this color. So just kind of fun how all the colors work together. So these are seven, eight length, um, although I find that they go all the way down, uh, kind of the same length as the last tights. Um, no pockets, which, well, actually there is a pocket along the front, but it's like an inside pocket where maybe you would put your keys or a card, but it's inside. So it would be kind of like against you as you run. So not necessarily that functional, but I really like the fit. I find it to be flattering. I've really liked them um, on the run and I like this outside drawstring. Um, it's kind of a nice effect. So overall, really like these tights and they have the same um, short stripe as the warm tights, but in the white color. This is the half zip. Um, I really like this piece. It's a warm um, fleece material on the outside. Um, not fleece on the inside, it's kind of soft on the inside, um, but I haven't run in this yet, although I do think it will be very warm on the run. I was also excited to see this piece because I had been waiting for another um, quarter zip, just because I really like it on the run um, when you're kind of in between temps. So this is the Sandstrata color with the Legend ink. Um, kind of very soft right here. Overall, I really like the look of this. I was excited to purchase it. And I think it will be both a nice cozy top, but also nice for when you're trying to stay warm. Um, so you can see the Legend ink color here. Pretty plain on the back, um, but a really nice running piece. This is a size small um, and I like the fit, not too tight, um, just right. And again, not fleece on the, fleece on the outside, but not on the inside. The inside is kind of a smooth sort of nylon feel to it. And so these are the running pants. Um, they are a very thin windbreaker material. I wasn't sure I was going to buy them because I really pretty much only run in tights, uh, the more compressive fit, but I ended up purchasing them and I'm glad I did because I kind of, they're very comfortable. I find the fit to be flattering and they're very lightweight. Um, and so I think I could wear them on the run and could also kind of wear them around as athleisure. So legend ink color with the silver violet string pulls. Um, again, kind of a windbreaker feel, but a nice zippered pocket here with a nice um, inner lining. Um, yeah, again, I really like the fit. Um, not too tight, um, but not too loose and baggy. Uh, I will say they are very thin, almost translucent, translucent. So I don't know if in the bright sun they would take on like a see-through element. And because they are so thin, I also wonder how um, a few wears, like how they'll hold up in the washer, if they'll kind of pill on the inside. Um, but time will tell, I haven't uh, worn them yet or run in them yet, so we'll see. But um, very comfortable and soft, kind of a more, um, rough feeling right here and then kind of very soft and smooth and thin um, on the back. This set is something that's obviously not in the previous colors, but um, this is a coral fusion color. So this is, I guess, the 
the race day pieces. Um, for the women, the race day pieces were this coral fusion, and for the men, it was kind of a teal blue green fusion print. So this is the race day tank, and these are the race tights. And there was also um, a race day tee that just had kind of um, t shirt length about here. Um, I didn't need another tee, so I opted for the tank. Um, I do like both pieces. I haven't gone running in them yet. Um, you, the race day tank, um, again, Coral Fusion with the logo here. Lightweight, breathable. I think it will be um, nice in the summer. Um, and it kind of has a nice um, thick weight to it, which I think would keep it in place if you were going to wear this as a race day option. Um, it wouldn't, you know, flap around too much. Um, and then the pants. So I was a bit conflicted on the pants. Uh, I've kind of been opting for long pants in the winter and then for a crop short in the summer. So I'm not sure that I like uh, the cropped tight as much and I, I probably wouldn't race in it. Um, and then I almost returned it because of the fit. These are, I think the Ad Zero line, which in the end is a more compressive kind of race day fit than some of the training running pants. Um, and so I was at first a bit concerned that it was too tight and was going to exchange for a bigger size, um, especially because along the edge, it has like a thicker thing to keep it, you know, in place um, along the bottom of your leg. But in the end, after trying it on a couple more times, I decided to go ahead and keep it. Of course, haven't run it yet, but um, they are um, comfortable. They definitely are, again, more compressive and kind of that sucked in feel to them. But you can see um, the white accents here and um, the nice big logo here. So I do, I like the way they look together as a set. Um, and again, I opted just for the tank and not the t-shirt. This is the coral um, pocket bra, um, matches this set um, and I really like it. This is um, the medium. Um, I actually was going to take a look at getting a bigger size just because it is uh, kind of tight, but again, I kind of went back and forth and ultimately decided not to. I was overall really excited for this because there was not a sports bra as part of the 2022 collection, and I like the color, I like that it matches, um, and most of all, I like the pockets. So it has these three pockets here, which are very convenient for holding your gels if I was going to race in um, a sports bra like this. And I like that it's a crop, so you have sort of the support um, and compression, but it then extends down a little bit and goes kind of right into um, the tights. So I thought that was nice. And then on the back, this is a new feature where they have this kind of drawstring cord here. So the idea is you could take off your shirt when running and then tuck it into here um, instead of having to hold it or tuck it into the uh, shoulder strap or something. So. This is the medium support uh, sports bra. This is the Blue Dawn running tee. Um, not in keeping with the sort of three or four colors that uh, seem to be the main colors of the collection and not in keeping with this coral color, but um, I did opt to buy a running tee. I tried to be a little more discerning. They had two other coral type running tees and one coral type running tank. And I thought, let me just <laughs> choose one. Um, and I did like the Blue Dawn color. It kind of has that same muted color scheme of the jacket. Um, so it's very soft, um, nice and smooth, very buttery soft on the front, um, really nice fit to it. Um, I like the sleeves, not too tight. And then on the back, it has a bit of a um, see-through kind of waffly, light and airy feel to it. So I have gone running in it. I really like it. And overall, I think I like this running tee better than the running tees that were part of the 2022 collection. So really nice fit um, and nice color, although it doesn't exactly match the silver violet, um, but overall um, a really nice piece. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the items that I purchased for this year. There are certainly a lot more items available on adidas.com. Last year I did purchase every single piece with the exception of maybe one. And so this year I wanted to just focus on the things that were in the new colorway for this year and items that I really knew I needed more of, that I was going to run in, and that I knew I liked the fit of. And the other things I decided, let me just skip it uh, and not spend quite as much money. So I may buy a few more things at the expo if there are additional things there, um, but we will see. Uh, maybe there'll be a visor. I would be really excited to get my hands on that. Um, so thank you all for watching and good luck to everyone who's running uh, one week from today. Bye.